Happy Friday. Yeah, today's Friday. Um, everyone, sorry. So I'm going to make my roast chicken. I was getting hungry and I took a chicken out. I don't know if I shared this with anyone or everyone, but I started back eating meat sparingly, but um, just periodically I eat meat. Um, so I have this prepackaged salad uh, from Trader Joe's that I buy and I am going to roast a chicken and I'm going to then take the roasted chicken and place it on the salad. So I have a chicken that I just rinsed. I read recently that rinsing a chicken is not necessary and not sure how I feel about it, but yeah, I'm rinsing my chicken. So I rinsed it, I'm getting ready to pat it dry and I am going to season it with uh, Tony Chiqueres, whoever he is, uh, Creole seasoning. And I'm going to do a, however much this is, of my dried porcini, porcini mushrooms that I have um, pulverized using my food processor. And then I'm gonna take one teaspoon of my fish sauce for between the porcini mushrooms and the fish sauce, it'll give me that umami flavor. I'm also in the cavity of the chicken. I am going to put an onion. I'm going to put under the skin some thyme and I'm going to take some softened butter and kind of um, massage it underneath the skin. Uh, and then I'm gonna roast it for like an hour at 400 and We'll see what happens. Hopefully I'll have good chicken. You Oh, so I buy Springer Farm chickens. Um, they're sold here in Georgia. I don't know if they're sold everywhere. And the reason I buy them is honestly, they are the, um, okay, so periodically I go to a farmer's market here, which is that we have neighborhood farmer's markets where farmers just go from neighborhood to neighborhood and they set up farmer's market. Here in my neighborhood, our farmer's market is today actually on Fridays, um, but I go to a year round farmer's market, which is at the um, Jimmy Carter Presidential Library on Freedom Parkway. And it's every Saturday year round from 8.30 until I think 12. And they all the farmers sell seasonal stuff. So um, I'm sharing that because there's a farmer that raises chickens and his chickens, like I used to buy the chicken wings all the time. I don't really go that often anymore, but um, the chickens were like the best chickens I have ever had in my life. Um, they were juicy, they, they just were delicious, um, but they were really expensive. So I think for a six pack of wings, it was $8, which, you know, that's kind of a lot of money. I don't remember, I wanna say a whole chicken may have been like 18 or $19. Anyway, so I bring that up because I was talking about the Springer Farm chicken. So the Springer Farm chickens, they sell in the grocery store and it's the best chicken that I've ever had with the exception of the chickens that I buy from the farmer who raises chickens. Um, there's something to me about standing across the purse from the person who raised the food that you're purchasing versus growing going to the grocery store and you don't know where this food has come from you don't know what process it's been through you don't know whose hands have touched it you don't know anything so i kind of like going to the farmer's market because the person standing across from me typically is the person that has farmed the food from the moment they planted the seed or raised the animal to the moment that it's standing in front of you waiting for you to purchase it. And I, it makes me feel better. Um, I'm supporting community. I'm eating better food that's better for me. Um, there aren't a lot of preservatives. There aren't a lot of additives. There aren't a lot of chemicals or toxins. Um, so I just, feel better and I and truthfully I can taste the difference it costs a lot more which is bizarre to me but it is worth it um and I'm worth it so 
if there's something near you that um, where you can purchase local farmed food, I would encourage you to do it. Most farmers markets, they even take um, EBT cards. Um, so it, it's for everybody. It's not just for people of means. So I would encourage you to look in your neighborhood because most major cities, every major city that I have lived in, they've had a local farmers market. In Chicago, they had one. In Los Angeles, they had one. Um, here in Atlanta, they had one or have one. Um, so I would encourage you wherever you are, even where my parents live in Tallahassee, they have a farmer's market every Saturday where the farmers bring their produce or merchandise to uh, the market. All right, so back to my chicken. I'm gonna pat this chicken dry. I'm gonna stuff it with uh, onion and I'm put some thyme under the skin. I'm going to season it with the Creole seasoning, the dried porcini mushrooms, and a teaspoon of my fish sauce. And I am going to roast it at 425 for about an hour. I'm gonna put some softened butter under the skin to make sure the, uh, the meat is juicy and tenderized. And we will come back and see what that looks like. All right, so I've gotten everything done. I have seasoned my chicken and I have taken some potatoes and some carrots and put them in my Dutch oven, my large Dutch oven. I've sprinkled some rosemary and some dill, some salt, some pepper. Uh, oh, I didn't put pepper, I need to put pepper on here. And the reason I did this on the bottom is so that when I place my chicken on top, that it sit, it's not directly on the bottom of the pan. So the bottom part of the chicken does not um, cook faster than any other part, if that makes sense. You want it to cook evenly. All right, so I am going to take my chicken and place it on top of my vegetables here. And I am going to stuff it. I don't think you guys can see this, but I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to stuff the cavity with half of an onion. I'm going to take a whole head of garlic that I've sliced in half with the skin on because it doesn't matter. I just want it for the um, for the fragrance and the flavor in my chicken. I'm going to take a little bouquet of thyme and rosemary, and I'm just going to stick it in here in the cavity. And then I am going to tie my legs together. with some kitchen twine. And if you don't have kitchen twine, uh, you can use really anything. Kitchen twine is the easiest, so. Knotting this. There. All right, so my chicken is all tied up and it is ready to go into the oven. Sorry, I didn't tell you that you want to place it. I'm placing the lid on my Dutch oven and I'm going to put it in my oven that I have preset to 400 and I'm going to bake it for about an hour. I'm going to check probably at about 45 minutes and I'm going to remove the lid and I might increase the temperature to 425 because I like really crispy skin on my chicken um, and re 
increasing the temperature to 425 and taking the lid off will make sure my skin is crispy. All right, so I did take the lid off and I took my temperature up to 425 and let it continue to roast. And you see how nice and crispy my skin is and how the potatoes and everything's done underneath. And I am going to carve this and put it on top of a salad and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so this is my plate. I'm eating the uh, leg and the thigh with some salad. Here's my roasted potatoes. So I took all the stuff that was in the cavity of the chicken and I'm going to put it back in the pot and I'm going to make um, chicken broth. I'm gonna just add lots of water, cook all this stuff down. I'm gonna put some celery in there, probably a leek, um, another whole onion, uh, and just let it cook for an hour. Probably tomorrow I'm gonna do that. And then I just usually keep the, uh, the chicken stock in a dish. So that's my roasted chicken. And that's the scot of it all.